Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium, where they will shake down thunder from the sky to cheer on their fighting Irish and hoping that plenty of echoes will reverberate in victory at the end of the game. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Northern Illinois Huskies taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Northern Illinois about to kick it off as we get things started. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. So Notre Dame's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, the ground game. They got him at the 42, but he got five yards on the play. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Back to pass, it's Leonard. Turns it loose. He makes a catch. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this and running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense being for Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Makes the catch inside his 30 and looking for room. He's brought down after a good return gets it out to the 31. So Northern Illinois' offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that... They get a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans. This offense better find out how to slow him down. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Quarterback on the keeper. And the ball's out, and they're after it. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. In this offense, they like their quarterback running these QB-designed runs like you saw right there. But the defense, they're going to light up every time they see him tote the rock. They know they've got an opportunity to lay a hit on him and create a takeaway like they did right there. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Trying play action. Unleashes to the end zone. 
And it's caught! Touchdown, Byron! Man, this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, but this unit looks dialed in. Climbing up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. We'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing at all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Back to throw, it's Hampton. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. Bringing it back, it's Payne. Spin, still running. Notre Dame has the ball. The last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect it. And he makes the catch inside the 20. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. This offense thrives on those big, explosive plays, and that one has them set up with a first and ten from the 17. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Notre Dame! The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spread them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting into the score. And he puts through the extra point. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays. They... From inside the 15, here comes the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. giving up the safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football, try to find that consistency. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Ooh, it's that smell song. Goodness gracious, that linebacker just opened the eyes of the running back running through the hole and hitting him right in the mouth. And, man, I'm, he may have to have the molars checked out after that one, but at least he was able to hang on to the football. I'm sure that football, it, it is hard to do when you get hit that hard, especially when you get that face right there on the football. Nice job for the back of the ball. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Looking for a block, it's young. Oh, the sweet spin, and he's free. The speed, the shiftiness, the elusiveness, all on display in that sweet return there. Here come the Irish, back on offense. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. On the ground, it's Bob. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. 
all you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you've got the offense right where you are. Knocked off his feet. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. And that is just an attitude run. Running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's now second and goal. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now to see if they can answer this early blitz here in the second quarter. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And they've inched closer and closer, and still two yards to go for the touchdown here on... And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown by the Irish! The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. You get opportunities like that, there are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. And he makes the extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the third. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, the offense stars those plays where they want to get their playmakers the ball, and the defense understands it as well. I got to know, when that guy comes in motion, he's a legit threat. They did. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And after that last sack, man, you could just see it. They are feeling themselves. After pitching a shutout last week, after dominating early in this game, it just seems like they're playing with a different aggression and a different level of intensity than what their opponent is. They have been so dumb. They barely get the punt out of their own territory. It'll be marked down just outside the 45. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute there. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Off play action. Grabbed in the middle, it's Flanagan. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Time to take a shot. Pulls it in inside the 10. Touchdown, Irish. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. 
With that latest touchdown pass, it might be a good time to mention Brady Quinn threw six touchdown passes against BYU. That record might be in jeopardy. And that's a good thing. And if you're starting to talk about that already, you know he's spinning it. He's in the zone. He's feeling it, reading the defense, everything coming out on target. He is having himself a day. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. He'll try it again. Finds his way for three after the 33. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, these guys, they're 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tug away and get that ball out of your hands. A QB will learn from this play. He's got to do a better job with his fundamentals. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Going for six. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. Ball hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer. Reels it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. These guys wanted to make a statement. A statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop it. No, don't run the score up. Well, do something about it. The defense has to step up and make plays. Obviously, they're not willing to do that, so just keep running plays and keep scoring. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. The Pandas managed to get the win in a close one this week, and they just shook up the college football world. And to do it on the road, no less, just incredible. The circle of life in college football where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Motion from the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Now on second down. To the air, it's Hampton. Trying to get to him. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And he gets home again, continuing his production. Last week, two sacks. This week, already a sack in the first half. This guy has been on a sack tear. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. Here come the Irish back on offense. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And he makes the catch at the 10. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. I mean, the way this team has dominated this game, impressive to say the least. And it's cool now because you're kicking the front of them so bad, you start to put the backups in, and all them get to get juice and get to get some playing time, get some feel good. And the other side, well, they're just taking it right to the face. So 
they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the run from inside is 25. The return is brought down at the 33. And the Northern Illinois offense will take over. The Northern Illinois offense ready to go back to work. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. They're trying to get to it. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Man, this defense has been so impressive to watch. Look at them. Get to the quarterback. Get the sack. They play so fast. It's like they have 12 men on the field. Another good performance going down right now. Coming off of last week, putting a goose egg on the board against their last opponent. Unloads it left. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And the Huskies will send out the punt unit. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth bench. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Inside, 30 seconds to play here in the second quarter. They've got it first and 10. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Sends it downfield. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Irish! And once he found open space, the fan might as well start playing. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. That's already his second touchdown of the game. And he had the extra point to finish the drive. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Catches it inside his 20. Chance to really gain some ground. He's brought down after a good return. Gets it out to the 31. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Now on second down after the incompletion. Wants to throw. It's Hampton. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Lost one deep down the right side. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. And it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of touchdown Jesus. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here.
And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. Nothing went right in that first half in the first order of business here. Try not to be embarrassed any further. But the comeback is possible. Remember 2006, Michigan State down 35 to Northwestern at halftime. They somehow came back and won the game. But it all starts on one play, and that has to happen here on this first drive for the offense. Yeah, the first possession, because your, your possessions, you're only going to get so many possessions that you've got to score on every single one of them. Offense, defense, special teams have to play out of their mind, but they have to believe. You've got a third and manageable, back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And he converts on third down as he gets it out to the 26. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game, too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you've got dialed up on third. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Running it back, it's Young. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. He's going to fire deep. Snags it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And the punishment has been extended. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march down the field and score. There's no end in sight for these guys. And he made the extra point without problem. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And the returner will be brought down. Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. To the ground. He's got it again. Got enough for the first. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Shut down and shut out in the first half. But finally, this offense trying to put something together. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what we have. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. This has 
been a frustrating day. And I'm not sure it's going to get any better. You're already down huge. Listen, this offense can't protect this quarterback. They, they don't do anything right right now. This defense has had their number all game long. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown by the Irish. And that is one of the biggest plays of that young man's football life. A true freshman taking the punt to the house. I'm the head coach and I watch that. I'm now trying to find ways to get this guy on the field offensively because he's got some special ability. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. TCU is running away with things, and I'm not sure who saw this coming today from this offense. They're up by 31 over the Coyotes. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And that's just a great job by the defense shutting down that jet sweep. You see the team speed they have on defense. They are willing and ready and able to go sideline to sideline with anybody in the country. Getting some heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot. But they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Going for it all. And the stomping has commenced. Another nice drive put together. And this offense through two weeks, man, they look legit. This team's about to be 2-0. All of their dreams in front of them. This team looks like a national championship contender. And the extra point was good. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. Looks like he's going to try to return it. That, that's a breathing a sigh of relief for sure. Kick returner tries to take it out, puts it on the ground, but how about the offense getting back on it, turning a what could have been a really bad play into, thank goodness I got the ball again. Trying to get the corner. Fighting off the defender. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, you toss the ball to the running back to get him away from all the big boys, right? Like, stay away from the beef. And those guys get you on the ground with one meat hook. Do a good job tossing the ball to the river. Goodness gracious. Has to break one tackle, just fighting as hard as he can to try to get positive yards. But too many guys coming after him too quick. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones. They completely had him surrounded. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Running it back, it's Young. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. 
This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly... Let's it fly deep downfield. Broken up and completed. Nearly intercepted in the end zone. It'll be second down. Offense working from the pistol. Oh, what a missed opportunity for that interception. But yes, I know he gets the pass breakup, but he had a chance to finish things off, and he really didn't get it done. But running toward the tape. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And the route is on. And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on all of us. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his 25. Gets it all the way out to the 33 before he stops. Northern Illinois offense ready to go back to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting you back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what? The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28th. Looking to the big tight end. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Here come the Irish, back on offense. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Looking for a huge play. Wide open. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And the pummeling has started. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further after you. And they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Great starting point, takes it inside his own 25. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that put. And the quarterback is snowed under. And it's simply been that kind of day for this offense. They've had so many struggles. And at this point in the fourth quarter, you're trailing by a ton of points. The defense knows you're throwing it. And they're pinning their ears back, and they're getting after you, as you saw it on that sack there. Got it in the middle. It's Carter. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your match. 
matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. He's looking downfield to throw. He wants to take the top off. And the pass is complete. He's got it at the 20. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for... Touchdown, Huskies! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Getting set for first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Going over the top. He's got it. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Washington State is ahead right now, but the school that nearly saw Ryan Leaf win a Heisman back in the day still has some work to do. They're up by four over Texas Tech. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Finds his man down the middle. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Looking to go up top on first down. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And this offense just keeps trying to find something to go well. They're down so big. There's still time on the clock. Maybe they can put something together. But so far today, this has been ugly. First down, Zach pushes it back. Now it's second down. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And I bet the frustration meter for this offense is so high. If you can't keep your quarterback upright, it's hard to move the ball. It's hard to score points. This offensive line has not protected him at all, and that's why so many sacks keep happening. Man, oh man, did that coverage team have its hands full. Well, well not full because they didn't get a hand on him for quite a while. Great return there. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, 
I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop it. He got his hands on it but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. Caught in the backfield. It's locked. And they gave him no chance to get loose. And they force a fourth down. Good play call on defense. Third down in that situation, you're just playing a big zone. You want everybody having their eyes on the quarterback, playing in their areas, and you want them rallying to the football. As soon as that running back caught the ball, they all came screaming in. They were able to make the tackle and they set up for it. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throwing catch. Notre Dame has it now, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out. And the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, and complimentary football. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And as the ball makes its way into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. This offense needs something to feel good about. It hasn't been very productive today, Jesse. Well, I think it's just important they stay aggressive, try to throw the football, and just see what this quarterback can do here at the end of the game and build confidence for the next time they take the field. Yeah, and there hadn't been much good today. But uh, build confidence, sure, but just show your team you're going to keep fighting no matter what the scoreboard says. He's going to pass on second down. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The defense puts the exclamation point of the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack at the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all in the double coverage. And they made him pay. It's intercepted. Bringing it back. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Irish. And then the offense has the lead has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. And they pick up the extra point kicker, knocked it right down the middle. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Takes it inside the 25, and he'll bring it back. He's brought down after a good return, gets it out to the 31. Illinois offense ready to go back to work. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of... And they got him for the sack. Man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled. Going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Dude, isn't it? you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought... This game's over as it is anyway. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. And he knocked that one right down the middle. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film. 
but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent. And forget this day ever happened. One more play to pad the stats. They'll throw it on first down. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that pass will be incomplete, and time has run out on this game. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, all, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.